Hi Force Nation, welcome to another exciting episode. It's your man Calculus the Engineer. So today we're going to cover carbon fiber reinforced polymer strengthening. And uh, this is uh, a new system, especially in our local market here in Kenya, East Africa. Because uh, in the past we've had challenges when renovating or making alter structural alterations to building. Uh, when we have inadequate members in terms of strength and uh, material quality. But now there's good news in that uh, there is a product or a structural system that can be used to, to, ready, to remedy this. So carbon fiber reinforced formula strengthening or carbon fiber wrapping as it's popularly known is uh, we can describe is that a composite material that relies on carbon fiber to provide the strength and stiffness required while the polymer provides a cohesive matrix to protect or hold the fibers together so that's how this product works and uh, we can look at some of the advantages that uh, this product uh, provides which uh, it has high strength it is light in weight it is uh, resistance to corrosion it's easy to use it promotes uh, high speed of construction but it also has its limitations the two major ones being that it is susceptible to mechanical damage and uh, it has poor resistance to fire or its fire rating is very low so this this particular product is uh, is one that is uh, used when we have structural elements such as columns beams sometimes pad footings with foundations that have uh, very low structural capacity being strengthened by and uh, you'll find that its application is growing by the day and uh, apart from the few the few limitations the two main limitations we've already outlined it is uh, mostly a good product and uh, Today we would like to go through the application process of uh, this uh, product. The first one being that uh, we have to remove the coating of the concrete surface and this can be done using a grinder so that it is uh, clean and exposing the structural, the structural finish of the member. Afterwards, the concrete surface that has been exposed must be cleaned properly and dried before anything is done on it and uh, this can be done in any way so long as the surface is clean and dry the third uh, item in the process will be to apply a primer adhesive onto the concrete surface of course this helps in uh, addition of the the polymer to the concrete and then you can apply party for repair and leveling if you have if you have honeycombing or any kind of uh, depression on the concrete you want it level as level as possible and that's why this party comes in for repair and leveling if and when required and then the fifth step in the application process is to cut the carbon fiber fabric into sizes as designed so depending on the element that is being wrapped you will cut the fabric accordingly so that uh, it fit ne it fits neatly during the application process the sixth step is to mix the adhesive glue according to the ratio provided this is uh, clearly directed 
on the containers that have the glue so you have to mix the adhesive glue according to the correct ratios so that uh, the desired strength the anticipated desired strength will be achieved the seventh step is to start this adhesive until you get an even color and also starting helps to eliminate any potential air bubbles in the process so you're killing two birds with one stone the aim is to stir you stir the adhesive very very well so that uh, you get an even color and eliminate air bubbles the eighth step will be to apply the carbon fiber fabric itself onto the concrete and this is done by hand but the applicator has to be wear has to wear gloves as a personal protection equipment gloves preferably an apron some gumboots and uh, a mask to avoid inhaling any fumes from the mixed adhesives so that will be the eighth step then the ninth step the application process is to level out the already applied carbon fiber fabric and this has to be done from one end to the other so that uh, you don't have any air bubbles trapped underneath the fabric itself and then of course the last step is just to repeat the process on the subsequent members substructural members so that you have a wrapping that is uh, well bound to the structural member and uh, it is worth noting that this fabric can be applied either in a single or double layer the double layer of course being the more robust one but most times you'll find that this is a matter of specification and it is one also that is uh, cost driven if there are challenges in uh, the budget of a project then the engineer will see how to make it work with a single layer but if uh, the budget is not a challenge then it will be preferable to have a double layer on the structural member so this is just an introductory video to the product we'll make another one to go deeper in its uh, structural performance and this you're going to showcase some tests and the values you're getting for the tests done on the product just to consolidate our argument of its performance Thank you for listening and following through the entire video. Guys, as usual, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, keep grinding and growing.